Hey guys, Mr. Popsit here. Thanks for checking out my channel. Make sure to check out Mr. Popsit Live where I interact with everyone and answer all the questions in Mr. Popsit Fishing. Okay guys, this is the 48 hour follow up on uh, the large abscess and that inflamed cyst on the back here. Let me just peel this off for him. And it was pretty tender for him. So this is one of the more tender abscesses we've had in a while and it was difficult to get it completely anesthetized. So we got out as much as we could and now we're gonna pull out some of this packing. He may feel a little bit, but it's pretty quick. And let's see here, the non-stick pad is still on there, good. So we did have some drainage, just 48 hours and that soaked that up pretty well. There we go. He did start the antibiotic, I just get some uh, gauze too. It's looking good, this is the non-stick. Looking good, the redness is going down. That's what we like to see. And they had two kind of pockets. There were cyst contents up here and a little bit more pure in that discharge. So it's going to be a little dried here. You're going to feel just a little bit, okay? That was just a tiny bit we did there. Yeah, you couldn't yeah, that, it more. Yeah, that's dried out in there pretty well. This one he'll feel a little because it was a little deeper. Hopefully not too bad. Doing okay. A little bit there. We're going slow. A little there. It's just like a live wire down there. It's a problem. It's almost like pulling off a scab. We're going slow. Deep breaths. Good. You did great. That's good. Not a whole lot of fluid we're seeing, but it's a deep pocket in there. We can still see. And not much pus, not much bleeding either. So we got a lot of the contents out and you can see it goes down about that far, deep down in there. So now we're gonna let the antibiotic do its work. And now that we have that, you'll see that'll start to kind of flatten down and everything's gonna start healing up there. So what we'll do for him is see him in one week and let these, they're gonna seal back together. And that's going to kind of granulate some tissue in. All that yellow in there that looks like pus is actually granulation tissue. That's what it looks like when you're healing. It'll be kind of white or yellow. It's just not runny. It's kind of adherent to the wall. And that's called granulation tissue. That's how it heals from the inside out. The top here, looking down in there, you can't see from the video, but um, I see granulation tissue in there. And I do not see much cyst contents. It's just a very deep pocket. It goes straight down. So we're gonna let that close up, let his body fill in that space. Um, way less, we start to see this peeling, that means it's healing, it's peeling, it's healing. Everything's retracting and we'll stay on that antibiotic. In one week, you'll see uh, a world of difference. So one week and then we'll do a two week follow up too. So looking good, we're gonna put a, just a little bandage. He's gonna still um, drain a little bit for probably four to five days. And we'll put a nonstick pad on and he'll just kind of change those each day until that dries up and it stops leaking. So thanks for popping by. That's a good follow up. You can see that reduction of redness, probably 60 to 70 percent in 48 hours. And the next week it should be close to 100. All right. Thanks for popping by. OK, guys, this was a large abscess on the upper back here. And this was um, you can see here he's still got some drainage. It's going down quite a bit. This was a big one. We're going to put a new bandage on there for him if we want to throw this away. Right there. So you can see there's still a little bit of discharge. Some of that yellow is, is what's called granulation tissue. And granulation tissue will look like that, but he does have discharge. And this was actually a Proteus mirabellus, uh, which is a gram-negative uh, bacterium that... We can find in the urinary tract. It's it's it does it's not uncommon in uh, catheterization when people have catheters in, but it can also can you know through touch and touching things and spreading it, um, it can come up and it can be passed in food sometimes as well. But for some reason, maybe he had touched something and then scratched this area and really got inflamed. Now he did have a cyst up here. We made two cuts. We got some some um, purulent discharge out of here, but then we were getting cyst contents out of here, but he was so tender, we could not dig deep, even after 12, 15 cc's of lidocaine. So this is a one week follow-up or just a week out. We just got the results back. So we had put him on uh, antibiotic, which is common for skin infections, and it, it was susceptible to this Proteus mirabilis, but 
it, it, it was a 40. So it had very high uh, concentration it needed and that's not good. So we went with one that had a very low concentration. So we just changed his antibiotic two days ago, 48 hours ago. What we should find is this is going to dry up within seven to 10 days now. So we changed that up. Um, it's, it's not as tender. His pain is just a three out of 10 now, two or three, which from a like eight to nine. So that's dropped greatly. We relieve the pressure. And now we're just going to do a follow-up, get him on the right antibiotic. I did do another culture today because I have seen double infections sometimes. And as you kill one bacteria, another one kind of starts to present. And with the amount of discharge he had, he still has a moderate amount at one week out. So, you know, just do a second culture just to make sure there wasn't any type of double infection in two different bacteria in there, which is also not uh, all that uncommon. So thanks to him for, for sharing. We're going to do another follow-up in just 7 to 14 days, and that will dry up in the next week or 10 days now that we got him on the right antibiotic um, for a, a bacteria that's not super common that we see. But that's why we do cultures. And some people ask, why don't I do a culture on everything? I do a culture on many things, but it's these very angry looking ones almost 100% of the time we always do one because that's usually bacteria in there. So thanks again for sharing. Just a quick follow-up video, um, and we'll see him again in one to two weeks. Okay, guys, we had the follow-up for the painful abscess that we had here, which is the Proteus uh, mirabellus infection. We, uh, we saw him just last week, and he still had quite a bit of discharge, and we recultured. There we go. That's what we expect. So that is a dry wound now in just one week. Getting him on the correct medication, those cultures are important. Um, I did culture last week and it came back still with copious amounts of that Proteus mirabellus. So um, we could see it too. It was very, there was a lot of purulent discharge. And now you see when you squeeze, nothing. It's drying up. The yellow tissue there and some of that pink tissue is granulation tissue. He's filling in the void that was in there. And uh, you still just a little bit of contents we can push out. That's the cyst contents right there. Um, coming up through so as that dries out um, that's there was a quite a big cyst in there any pain with that no no pain he's good you can see as that starts to um, the infection starts to go away now those dry cyst contents from that large cyst are getting kind of pushed out of the body coming right up to the top so that's why I always talk about we'll get some more out here for him <clears throat> I always talk about we can't get all those cyst contents when it's so tender like it was before. I could barely touch this when he came in originally. Oh, yeah. And then when we got him numbed up, we, we really couldn't touch it. But you can see that cyst wall. These are all cyst particles coming out. So now as this dries up over the next, um, next you know, two to four weeks, that cyst will try and reform. Everything will heal well and we'll come in and do a wedge cut and be able to remove the remaining parts of that dry sack. But just a week out from his infection, I don't want to um, start poking in there just yet. He, uh, his tenderness is way down. Um, you can see he's not really having any pain, but we're not completely out of the woods with the infection yet. So, but that's looking good. He definitely had a couple pockets in there we could see when we made those two cuts, but that was likely a pretty good sized cyst in there. He has a couple others we're going to do for him as well. But this is probably 70% improved. That redness is going down. The induration is gone, so it's nice and soft. And as all that purulent discharge starts to get destroyed or kind of reabsorbed or drained, all that's left is cyst content. So you can see with just a light push, we got quite a bit. So we're going to watch him closely. Um... And as this heals, we'll probably go out now a couple weeks, let it completely heal up, and then I'm going to see if I can feel any cyst contents. That would be great if what I just squeezed out was the last of it, but that's highly unlikely. There's usually a cyst wall down uh, lining at the bottom that we couldn't touch before, but once this is gone, we'll be able to numb him up, go in there, and pull that whole thing out. So we'll let him do some healing now and then see him, I would say, probably three weeks now. And then we'll see him back. But that's a that's a great case. It's a good reason we do cultures on abscesses. Um, so we can get him the right treatment. You can see when we change the antibiotic, a huge difference from week one to week two. And it pretty much destroyed it. We also did get a little Staph aureus on the second one, which is a common uh, bacteria that's on the skin. But it was mostly that Proteus uh, mirabellus. 
um, heavy growth of it, it said. So that looks way better in just seven days. So thanks for popping by. We're going to keep uh, following his case. We'll likely come back to this, and then he's a couple other cysts we'll remove for him as well. But he should be feeling way better and sleeping a lot better now. So thanks again, and that's it, guys. Okay, guys, Mr. Pops it here. This is our Proteus Mirabellus, the large abscess we have um, that we had, and it, we had to change the antibiotic. We finally, you can push on it, no fluid. It dried up, but what commonly happens with inflamed cyst is reforming. And you can see that cyst formation right there. There's a little nodule. This is a deep dilated pore there, which is likely what started the cyst. And there's probably underneath a pretty decent pocket. So now that we've dried up the infection, we talk about this often, um, inflamed cysts and abscesses, we get the infection under control and we remove some of it, but when it reforms, and if it's in just two or three months or if it's in two or three years, whenever that starts up, that's when we have them back and we're gonna do a wedge cut or a little kind of ellipse and take out that uh, enlarged pore and remove any cyst contents now that it's dry. So we're gonna have him back actually kind of quick here, hopefully within the next week and get him set up and, and he'll feel a lot better there. So this was a, a big transition from giant abscess uh, with a, a bad infection to now assist and that's what we do. So thanks again to them for sharing and we'll have him back for the surgery very soon.